Hi, I'm Russ Heaps, and welcome to this segment of Beer to Whiskey. This is one in our series of Big John and Five, where we talk to Big John Richards. He's one of the beer experts here in Greenville, South Carolina, and we give him an opportunity to pick a beer, and then we talk about it. So, what do we have today, Big John? We got uh, Harpoon Winter Warmer with us today, one of the first of the winter seasonals to come out, and actually feels like a a little touch of winter, at least in South Carolina, yes. the last couple of days. Yes. So that's appropriate. <laughs> exactly. For the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a nice, fun little beer. And this was one of the, uh, <clears throat> it's historically been one of my favorites and one of the first. It's just been that good all along of a, of a real uh, representative of a good winter warmer, um, which doesn't actually have to mean that it has a huge alcohol content. It's about 5.9%. Oh, really? Uh, which, uh, I guess is some would dispute that's a high alcohol content, but it's not over the top like some of our American beers are. Sure. But we get uh, a nice cinnamon, nutmeg, clove kind of allspice. I think this one's a lot more on the cinnamon and nutmeg and the sweeter side. And a nice smooth toffee and caramel sweet malt backbone on it. Um, it's, it's spicy enough to remind you that you're in the winter months and that's really where the winter warmer thing comes from, but uh, real comforting, very uh, accessible, very easy, very warming. Well, good. <laughs> well, without further ado, soul warming, if you will. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, I'm I'm warm all over. No, uh, this type of thing I know is is at least somewhat up your alley. Yes, I think. Yeah. Uh, and you know, it's that like I said, that nice, easy, accessible. Um, taste profile, if you will. Um, where Where is Harpoon? That's a great question. Uh, Harpoon is uh, in Boston, Massachusetts, and in Vermont. Actually started the brewery in Boston. That's where their production facility still is. Uh, but they uh, have a brew pub in Vermont now as well. Uh, well, I say now, but that thing, I think it's been there for 10 years. <laughs> well, when you get to be a little older, oh, no, it's, time uh, just flies. That's it, exactly. <laughs> it's it's running by me, but right. Well, we uh, so Harpoon actually is another one of the very independent breweries. Um, in fact, it's employee owned. They have a, uh, I think, just some three or four years ago, did an employee stock purchase oh, really? option where they allowed the employees to buy out the brewery, which. Which gives them obviously some kind of job security and some kind of security that they're not going to just get uh, snatched up by one of the big guys. Right. So in your search for supporting real independent craft, Harpoon's a great way to go, even though they're 30 years old. Really? I believe 1988 is when they started. Yeah. Do they have uh, pretty much a full portfolio of beers? They do. Straight down the line, got a great portfolio. Um, a, a big wheat line, probably their flagship is a, a beer called UFO. Um, which uh, stands for unfiltered offering back when wheat beer was really just getting a foothold around right. here um, but now they do like different fruit flavors of that beer they do a raspberry version of that beer that's really wonderful they have a really great early East Coast style IPA very floral and very easy and accessible as well and their beers straight down the line are, are really accessible on the on a uh, an intro level, if you will, if you're coming into craft beer, Harpoon is a great place to go look for beer because their beers are all very accessible. Yeah, I like this a lot. This is, like I said, long been one of my favorites, and it has the greatest nickname of a beer ever. Warmpoon. <laughs> hey, <laughs> doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> That's what they tell me. <laughs> So anything we, else we should know about it, do you think? Um, this, that's a, we can continue talking about almost anything other than <laughs> describing what a real winter warmer is, which if you're looking for one, this is it. Right. Um, you know, we've, we've pretty much run the gamut on this one. Well, I if that's the case, then until next time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.